Raila Amolo Odinga has just uh, discovered Ruto's weak point. Raila has come, has come to realize, has come to know what the weak point is. Actually, um, if we go on, guys, take this time and uh, receive my greetings. And my hope is that you are doing nice and this video finds you in good health. So, Raila Mlodinga um, seems to have, you know, um, realized <laughs> and discovered and invented <laughs> those weak point. Why am I saying so? Um, before you go on, watch the video. Kama wa yantaka kupandishu wa suru, wa shteme, ngapi wa nataka, na tuende tuzumuze kwanza wa sisi kama wana inchi inje, public participation. Manene peleke kwa bunge. Hawa ujumbe waende wa zungumuzia hii maneno wakubali hawa wakatai. Tutawambia ya kumba kataini. Chana upende usipende. Kwa hivu wajukumu ya kutleta maendeleo. Siwa timune waende ubemberese hawa upige magoti chini ati utapani maendeleo apani. Maendeleo itakuja hapa wapende wa sipende. Kama mumekataa kufanya na wazo kumbia njini musipito wa shuru. Kwa hivyo, hiyo mambo ya kusema ati ingia kwa serikali ni upuzi. Ni upuzi. Kwa kutozo ushuru. Sasa wanaongea juu ya mambo ya ushuru. Wakati wa campaign kulikuwa na ahadi. Ahadi mingi zaidi. Tutoleta pesa ya hasla. E, kutakuwa hakuna riba interest free. Hiyo billion hamsini ingine hile ya kina mama ma billion ya moja lakini sasa wameanza kubadilisha maneno sasa hakuna pesa serikali wameanza kupata bila interest itakua less than 10% hile ingine ni mambo ya bea ya mafuta bea ya unga tasa mimi nataka mpati mimi maka moja wanesema ni kuweka bubilia chini itaruli chini sasa hali yote umewaji. Lakini ushuru huwezi kupandisha bila wakilishi ya wanainchi kuketi chini na kongea. There must be also public participation. You cannot just rise up one day and say we are going to increase NSSF, NSIF, bila wabungi kujodiliana. No taxation without representation. Now you've seen the video. Um, Raila seems to be focusing on this tax issue. He seems to be, you know, focusing his energy on this tax issue. He knows very well the only way to bring Ruto now is by, you know, um, invading this tax issue by, you know, inciting Kenyans not to pay tax. The truth is that, uh, you know, the truth is that uh, Ruto, um, you know, is insisting that Kenyans should pay tax, which is a good thing. But no, I think the timing, okay, the timing, <laughs> the timing is not correct because right now Kenyans are going through a lot. People hardly put food on the table. It's a fact. People are suffering. People have got no jobs. Youths have got no jobs. Graduates, people have gone, have gone to school, have got no jobs. So it means that when you say that you want Kenyans to pay tax, where will they fetch or get this money? It is no, it is a puzzle it's a puzzle that we ought to, you know, you know, we ought to you know to to, to unravel. Because um Raila knows very well that if he focuses on tax he will get of course backing from Kenyans. Kenyans will support him. And of course this will frustrate Ruto's government. That's why he's saying that you need to first you know, um, implement or no, you know, deliver on your manifestos. To give Kenyans what you promise them, because you promise them so many things. You promise them, you know, you will lower unga price. You promise them jobs. You promise, you know, the asla funds, and also this issue of asla funds. Ruto seems to have changed, you know, his tune. He's saying that this fund is not for free, and of course people are suffering. No, if at all you would have, you know, implemented this issue of asla fund, of course um, Kenyans would have, you know, now 
her had some, some something in their pocket. Of course, paying tax wouldn't be a problem. But now people got no, no money, people got no jobs. No, the economy is dilapidated. No inflation rate is high. Things are just are just messy. So Raila is using this advantage to fight Ruto. He talked about it yesterday in Kakamega. He said that don't you know impose tax on people. Uh, don't insist that people should pay tax when people are suffering. Yeah, and also no tax will be paid when there is no development. It means that if people pay tax, it means it simply means that you will not no you those money will go to corruption. Yeah, because there's no point of people paying tax when they don't see development. It means that this money goes to corruption. Okay, people will be you know enriching themselves. So Raila has known that the weak point right now that he can use against Ruto is this issue of tax. And actually it's working because Kenyans are you know are understanding him, okay? Why impose tax on us? Why you know why force us to pay tax when we are suffering, we have got no job, people are you know, people people hardly put food on the table. You know, the issue of C B C you know education has become expensive. No, no you understand now you no know, how the suffering it's like the president is adding more suffering. Okay? It's try it's like you know it's, it's like you know uh he's not understanding Kenyans. And uh, this, of course, uh, Raila uses Raila uses it. Wants to use it, you know, <laughs> to propel himself to say that the come 2027. Because the, the truth is that Raila is focusing on 2027. And I have got you no know, reasons to why Raila will be on the ballot because he's never declared that he you know is retiring. And he said that when the time of re Tiring comes, he will tire in peace. So I believe he's, t he's still in the battlefield, and of course Kenyans will not, you know, Kenyans will see him in the oh no, on the ballot, you know, come to 27. And actually, he's using this issue of tax to campaign against Ruto, to come 2027. And actually, he's using it right now, and he will he will use it to frustrate Ruto, and this will work because um, you know the method, the manner of which the government wants to pay tax is also questionable. Like you cannot say that. No, when you have a PESA account, you know, you need to pay tax. It means that everyone you know, will be paying tax. And remember very well, not everyone is earning, okay? Some people are suffering. People, you know, some people are Jokali people. Like, you know, people are, you know, people don't have money. So when you want, when, when you force them to pay tax, of course, you will be hurting them. I think paying tax is not bad, but this, you no, know, the government needs to come, you know, with a, you know, with a, with some mechanism, okay? You know, of underneath, underneath this matter not imposing tax on people because uh, some people might not get it you know some people might, might suffer that's the fact and that's why Raila is using this this issue of tax to beat Ruto okay he wants to pin him down this issue of tax and of course um well let's see wait and see what will Ruto how will Ruto retaliate retaliate sorry how will he retaliate okay because the truth is that Kenyans will not understand him. If, if at all, he insists on imposing tax on people. Kenyans not, even the hustlers that you know, have been singing his, name, his song will not understand him. They will say, they know, you have betrayed us, okay? You have got into power and you have changed your, you know, your behavior. You have not delivered on our manifestos, but you are still asking us to pay a lot of money. That's what's happening. So guys, tell me in the comment section, what do you think? Do you think it is uh, Raila is doing a good thing by fighting the government okay? O on this issue of tax or do you think people should pay tax tell me what you think in the comment section but of course paying tax is good okay? no, a country can, cannot you know, uh, move without tax that, that's the reality so guys subscribe and uh, I'm hoping to see you soon in the next video thank you